Hello and welcome back to Maypole Farm. We are up and at it. Five past eight is uh, mid-April. And we've got a few things to be doing around the farm today. Now, we want to be getting some grass cut. And I'm going to try and leave that to the workers. Because I want to start getting ready to uh, change some fields about again. So today we're probably going to get some trees cut or at least get some hedges out. Now, as for the grass cutting, we're cutting for hay. I'm not going to worry about the sheep's pen. We'll we'll do that when we do silage, when we need more. Uh, I think for hay, we'll be fine cutting this meadow and our other meadow around the corner. So we'll, I'll set a worker up for that in a second, and they can start cutting. And we're going to come down here, because I've decided with our purchases of our last two fields, they're quite good sizes. Once we've got the wheat out of this field, we'll dig it up, we'll completely uh, plough it all up, we'll lime it, we'll 100% reset it, get the stones out if we need to, anything and everything, and we're going to repurpose that with grass. And I'm going to take this bush out, and all them trees out, and I'm going to merge it in with this here. And I may even dig up the track and bring the meadow all the way down to this edge row here. So then we just have this one massive meadow. Rather than a little meadow that I've still got a fanny about getting in and out of. So yeah, that's that's what we're going to start working on. Uh, because it's spring, we've not got a lot going on. Our cows are absolutely fine. Our fields are fine. Everything's been weeded, fertilised and everything else. So I'm going to go and set the worker up. They'll be in the John Deere. And uh, we'll get started on taking the bush out and getting some trees out of the ground. I've got my little log trailer in tow. We'll try and get some of these trees off. Once the uh, once the worker has finished mowing this meadow, and uh, I've moved them over to the next, we uh, will jump into the doits and we'll uh, get some tedding done. We're not going to leave it all to them. We're not just going to have an episode of me chopping down this this hedge, and that be it. There will be uh, farm work, field work, other things are happening. Just got to get certain things rolling, ready for the expansion, or the uh, the rearranging. So we'll uh, get stuck in there, getting rid of some of these hedges. Now, for some of you who have had updates to your maps and have uh, installed them, you'll probably have uh, solid logs when you cut through your bushes. But I've not updated my map, so uh, my offcuts do tend to just drop through the map. And I'm absolutely fine with that. Now, I was contemplating leasing a chipper for these trees. I still might do that, actually, although I've brought that trailer over here. Or when we get some more trees, because I want to trim some other uh, trees around different fields. There they come. Let's just watch them as they come around. She's doing a lovely job. Not using her full width, but I don't know why that is. Just making a meal of, I guess. Getting well paid. It's set with the correct working width, so I don't know why uh, she's not using it all. It's been an awkward bugger, I reckon. Well, I think that's going to look good. If, we, Like I said, if we dig that up as well, so we can extend that right across. Bring that into there. I think that'll work. I think that'll look nice. Really bring it out. And yes, I like to dig my stumps up. I don't I don't tend to use a stump grinder. For those that have, uh, have been watching for a while and saw the expansion and the uh, sorting out of the land for the brewery. You'll know why I don't use a stump grinder, because I used one there just to sort of demonstrate why I don't so much. I'm sure if I'd have used a different sort of stump grinder, we'd have had different outcomes, but... I like the lumberjack mod. 
I liked it in 19. I like it now. I can't remember if it was on 17. For a little while there, I was getting back into uh, FS17, but with uh, my time not being as it was, not having as much of that free time to explore <laughs> away from, I just like playing on Balling Craig and um, Colbert Park Farm. Absolutely love those maps. Now, I do have a little bit of news about future endeavours for the channel and for the farming, because with... Uh, as if, if you followed uh, my posts, social media, the community feed, and probably last episode as well, I probably brought it up. Ube Laron has, has broken, has died. Ube Laron only has about... well. Oh, I say only has about two weeks worth of uh, videos still to come out because I always have that pre-recorded so I can be a bit more responsive here but that's died the save broke with the last giants uh, patch for the update that broke things <laughs> it's uh, a crazy circle and uh, yeah so I've already started work on my next project uh, because I'll want that to be somewhat pre-loaded and in doing that I got an idea for another project. So, in between, caught in this, doing the, the the attempted role play, and the other things that I like to do on the channel that other people don't generally watch so much. I'm also trying to plan for two brand new farm and simulator series, and they will they will both be coming this year. The the replacement for Ube Laron will be coming in uh, about a week after Ube Laron sort of finishes on the channel. I'm still not certain about these trees. Let's do it. Let's take them out. Yeah, so that's going to be there for... Um, I think it's... Sorry if I'm umming a lot. I'm trying to think on the go. About mid... October, maybe the second week of October, that's going to start. Just going to move that with my uh, mighty strength just to, so I can get to my tree. Take the stump out. So yeah, I'm going to have that ready to go. And then once, that, once that's up, I'm going to start working on another little project that is completely, again, completely different to anything else I've put out and uh, I hope it goes down well I've got an idea I'm gonna, gonna put some effort into it uh, like I say make it different and I'll still I'll still try and maintain Maple I'll be maintaining the Ube replacement the role play will uh, still have its spot are these all real branches oh wow we're gonna have to do uh, a lot of Delimming around here, clearly. So yeah, this is going to be a busy time. Hopefully, it'll deter <laughs> the people that unsubscribe every time I don't release a farm sim video, which always baffles me. I, I put farm sim out; it's my main content. It's, you know, it's, this is primarily a farm sim channel. Yeah, every time I put out one video that isn't farm sim, I lose a subscriber off it, which is weird. Like, it's... The farming doesn't disappear just because I put something else out. And uh, these are, I think I've said before, they're public subscribers, so I, I see them come and I see them go. And about three days later, when the farm sim's back, they resubscribe again. It's weird. You hurt my analytics. You hurt the channel when you do it, but it's, you know, it's to their own. It's just weird. But if I have it so there's even more farming, <laughs> perhaps they'll uh, they'll stick around and not feel the need to uh, unsubscribe once a week. You crazy mofos. Right. I'll probably crack on with these. Try and get a few of these trees down while they're mowing. 
and uh, come back to you either once I've got the trailer loaded up ready for a sale or once they've finished and we're ready to start doing some tedding. I've got four trees on the back here now. I was going to go for a fifth but then I remembered that we've got the uh, REA22 mods running and anything with a little bit too much weight I'd probably not struggle to pull up I'd probably roll it at the slightest slightest turn. Our worker is still mowing away so I'm hoping I'm going to get back and be able to get another four trees down before we have to jump in the uh, in the doits and start our tedding. I'm just going to take this load to the biomass plant and we'll sell these. Oh we did remember to pick that tree up as well, the one we cut. We'll do that on the next run, so we will. We'll get a few more trees on and then uh, on our way out we shall pick that other one up. But the biomass is just down by the store. Now, while we're on our journey here, I will just give a future warning that because I don't have Oot Bay to uh, be my <laughs> my ranting series and <laughs> the one where I just sort of chat to crap on for a few weeks until the next series start, uh, we might find that I do do rant a little bit more on Maypole. So for those that don't like that aspect of my content, I do apologise. I try and do the... Uh, the more of the real world chat on on Ubeleron. So yeah. Till we get another series up that's just running alongside, then I might might do a bit here because I can't do it on the Stone Valley series. Although I regularly have a good ran on the trucking. So perhaps I just need to have a good old trucking session so that I can uh, do my thing. So let's find our trigger out here somewhere and we got three a lot three and a half grand just under but it's only four trees three and a half grand for four trees I think we've got about eight nine more trees there so you know a couple more runs I'll, uh, I'll get back I'll try and get some more on the back of here and get another sail in before we start heading just going to stop off and get some fuel though because I noticed we were running low. This is probably going to use up that three grand. <laughs> 1 1.2 1.2k on diesel. Awesome. I think I got a bit carried away. I'm not going to be able to fit that other tree on from the other field. There we go. Just get them straps on. I mean I could probably balance it but I've got a few more spruce trees. I think I've got three of them down there. So uh, I can try and put it on with them when I when I get round to cutting them down. Now because my worker is being a bit of a bell end and constantly going over the grass they've already cut, it's taken forever. Now I'm I'm not sure if I've messed something up in the settings for course play, but I'm finding that my workers are just absolutely awful at the minute. So. Yeah, this, this, this took all day. This field should be done by now. And it's nearly two o'clock. So this is probably going to end up being an episode where I squeeze two days in, just so we can get the work in and get the work done. I, I don't want to be dragging the grass work out. I don't mind doing some more tree cutting later on in the year. We've still got a while until we're ready to do that. But this was supposed to just fill in time while they got that first field cut. And they've not held up their... <laughs> end of the bargain so uh, yeah we may we may get two days in today so uh, hold on for that one but we'll just sell this for now and also I want to have a look at our finances because we're at 220 grand suddenly seven nearly eight grand for them them trees are definitely worth a lot more aren't they perhaps we need to get a forest anyway yeah I want to look at our finances just to see where that money came from, unless that is milk. Oh, that would be yeah, about 30 grand, that's milk. Just so we know where, oh, 77 grand yesterday. Nice, okay, I'm happy with that. As long as I know where the money's coming from, and uh, so you guys can see where the money's coming from, from as well, because if it confuses me and it's suddenly there, 
certainly someone watching who's eagle-eyed and paying attention will think, where's he just suddenly got that money from? So that's where it came from, the milk. I thought that was going to go in right early in the morning, so uh, I must it must have just been like a delayed payment, possibly. And then we'll get another 30 grand tonight, I guess. Madness, loads of money coming in off that milk. That's great. Well, not necessarily tonight, because it's for the month, so 77 grand last month, so it's probably, I don't know. Anyway, we're making money on it, and that's where it came from. There was no other big payment in there. Well, our trailer's already feeling super heavy. I'm going to try and get this on there anyway. And our worker still hasn't finished mowing that grass. Uh, I think by the time we get back, they will have. And then to uh, to make sure that the second meadow is actually cut today. I think I'm going to have to do that myself. I haven't got a clue how these are going to fit on here. I said I'd take it, so I'm putting them on. But how, how well that's going to go, I really don't know. And if I undo that strap, <laughs> that'll balance the next bit. So we should have... I think over 10 grass worth of wood on here. Do you reckon that caught it? It's got a shake on, hasn't it? Oh, it's not liking the weight. Right. Is there one more piece, maybe? Oh, two. Two pieces. See if we can slot that on there somewhere so it rests in. on. <laughs> right, last one, last little one. We'll put this around the other side. And, uh, yeah. That's not all our trees cut. We've still got some other regular trees. I'm not quite sure what they're all called. Some of these ones. Are they the oak trees? I think we've got some oak trees on there. I always call these ones pine when they're spruce, so don't expect me to get the, uh, the less obvious ones. Right, this... There we go. That's all on. Right, let's get this sold and see how much this is worth. I can't remember if I finished my sentence again. Um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna cut the grass. We're gonna cut the other meadow to make sure it's cut today. And then, um, oh, they finished finally, four o'clock. So yeah, when we get back, I shall cut the other meadow. I'll probably stick that in a time lapse, and then we will have to sleep through and then crack on with tedding and hopefully some uh, load of wagon and bailing action tomorrow. The weight on the back of that, there you go, you can see it, the weight on the back of there has been lifting me the whole way, we've been snaking all the way up and around. Right, how much do we get for this one? There you go, 11 grand, so we've made a bit of money selling the wood, say the uh, the spruce definitely sells for more. I think it always has done. It's a longer, straighter, denser wood. Although, generally, the biomass would buy the chipped stuff. But anyway, let's get back and get on to some field work. Well, in an attempt to try and move things along, I've put a worker to start Ted in, although they've already missed one row. Anyone else have this issue with course play at the minute? I didn't used to have this issue. I've checked my settings, they're exactly as they were. But they've just skipped that row. I had that with um, Harveston as well. Anyway, in an attempt to try and speed that up. <laughs> we've got them doing that. So we'll lower this, get this done. Power up. There we go. And I shall uh, mow this meadow. Then we'll call it a night.
clean had a look yet, but our worker claims to have finished, so I should imagine I'll just need to trim up the, uh, not trim up, but, you know, take the, uh, the area that they missed. Let's have a look at <laughs> the work. There's a few patches, so uh, I'll get this put away, and I'll jump in and I'll, uh, I'll sort that out. I'll start by just doing this bit up the middle. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. First, yeah, eight or nine times, and no issues, I don't think, with uh, using cosplay. But now, I just seem to always get this bit. Perhaps I'm just not positioning it right, but I'm sure it's supposed to just... St how I set it, it starts from where I start it, and then it works its way round. But it's as if I, I start it, and it just skips its first headland. And then, uh, and then continues on. Because that's pretty much what that is there. Never mind. I shall figure it out. I shall... Uh, I'll finish this. And uh, we'll go to sleep. So here we go. April 3. 8 o'clock in the morning. Got a great demand for the debris crusher. We've sold more milk, another 24 grand there, and I think we had a 30 grand pop up as well. Now, I want to try something a little bit different with uh, regards to ooh, how we get our hay in. Again, it's going to rely on <laughs> a course play worker. So, hopefully, they're going to go around and they're going to row the hay for me. Because we've been doing everything ourselves lately and just having a worker cut. So if they can row it, I can just follow behind with my loader wagon. And hopefully get filled up. So we're going to use the New Holland. We're going to be using a bit of everything in this episode. Look at that. I guess that's the advantage of the multiple day episode and the multi-job. The multi so we get to see a little bit of everything. We'll put the wagon on here. Now we're still <laughs> running what are considered narrows on the T7. But they're not exactly all that narrow, but we're going to go with it. We don't need that for us, so, so that can go. <laughs> it's looking dirty in there. And then once... Because I've already got, I've got to say, I've already got the uh, the worker back, Ted in the other field. I set them straight up at night. So they're in there doing that. So we just have to follow this one behind. They don't seem to be going very quick. <laughs> Perhaps that's the normal speed. I'm just so keen to get it done now. But this, this should help speed it up. We're going to load a wagon this field and I'd like to try and bail the other one and because we probably do more load a wagon than we does than we does than we do bailing I'll probably not show as much of this and a little bit more of the bailing just to keep the the episode still quite condensed and not stupidly long of trying to fit two days in as you can see this is going to add quite a little quite a little bit, that doesn't make sense, quite a bit of land and opening that up to the meadow, adding that to it again is going to be great. We'll have a nice unusual shape as well and I like when we have an unusual shape. So we'll put this in, probably going to put the first one in the feed for the, uh, the beefers and then the rest of it I'll just keep putting into the robot feeder setting up uh, for the beefers as well. These cows do have hay. I think we put about 90,000 litres in the other day. I'm sure we put 10 of those big hay bales in there before. Maybe even more. I think we put maybe 12. So they do have hay in there. But I haven't, uh, haven't been the best <laughs> dairy farmer and keep track of my 
feeds and how much they're getting through and stuff like that. So it's just topping it up for now. Once we've got all of our wheat and barley harvests in, we'll have so much straw. Everyone will have bedding. They'll all have full um, robots and mixers and we're going to have to really stockpile on the mineral feed. Really boost that. And again, I know that not everyone thinks the mineral feed is necessary or a thing, but it's there, so we're doing it. Just need to make sure it's stocked up. If not, the, the robot doesn't work. We want our robot to work. But anyway, the rest of this is going to go in the robot feed section for the beefers. May even put a little bit in for the dairy cows. We'll see. This is the last of the hay coming off that field or that meadow. Just took, took all morning to, to clear it. Our worker is probably already halfway through uh, wind rowing the other one because that got clear or that got Ted nice and quick. No messing about on that one, so maybe it's just the way I set them up in that field. I'll hold my hands up and take responsibility when I get it wrong. So how much? We'll just have a look. What have we got in here? We have, use my one good eye, 151,000 litres, which is a fair old bit. And we've got the 321,000 litres of silage. Feed-wise that they've got is 83,000 litres of hay that's in their, in their feed trough. So they're pretty good. They're well looked after. I say once we've got the straw to put in there, get the TMR going. Now next time out when we cut, we're going to be doing silage and we'll probably do two silage cuts uh, so we can have a nice full bunker. If we got the time to do two silage cuts, that is anyway. If we can, then we can have a nice full bunker for that. So next up, I'm going to do some baling, and I'm just going to stay with the New Holland for this. I can just back up, hook it on, we can get it moving. Here we go, here we go. Oh, it's a bit dark, I couldn't find my button in the dark, right. <laughs> So let's head out. Let's see what sort of work we've got done uh, with regards to the workers over here. Hopefully they're not stuck on a tree and just sitting somewhere. Hopefully they are out there getting it done for us. Oh, it looks like they're smashing it. Oh, mind the hedge. Absolutely smashing it by the looks of it. Brilliant. Okay. Well, time for me to get my bail on, people. One of my favourite things. Let's go. more swaths to bale up and I think it's been pretty productive considering these are 9,000 litre bales we're already at 17 bales that is quite a few got some uh, splatterings of hay laying around I'm not going to worry about trying to scoop it all up I never normally do I'm not that anal if anyone, <laughs> anyone's <laughs> Watch well, before you know I'm not that anal. Unless I'm really close to getting a full bale, then I might try and uh, scoop every last little bit up to finish it off. But as a rule, I leave it on. And can't be worrying about that. We, we generally have enough hay and silage and everything else. It's just straw that we always seem short on, but with everything that we've got growing, 
we should have <laughs> two years worth of straw at least in this one harvest and that's why I'm going to be put canola as I point canola back over in the big field and I think since that's not going to get us a full bale we'll leave it there and uh, that's 19 bales so I think that's pretty good I'm happy with that I'm happy with 19 bales got to get them put away in the shed now <laughs> haven't done that in a long time because we've just been feeding up the robot but I think since we have pretty much done a, a double episode in one I'm going to leave it there I'll, I'll move the bales uh, probably off camera or at the start of the next episode maybe uh, depends on what I think we've got lined up I know we need to get some slurry down on the grass we'll get the, the meadow slurried up and we'll probably finish taking out the trees so we may or may not have time to move them bales tomorrow so uh, I'll probably leave it for now and uh, make the decision in the next episode so hopefully you've enjoyed this one hopefully I managed to condense it down uh, that'll be good practice for the, uh, the the series that I've got planned coming up if I can uh, condense things down a bit better so anyway if you have enjoyed it give it a big fat thumbs up down below if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button turn your bell notification on find out when new videos are going live as always comments and feedback down there let me know what you're thinking ideas all that good stuff I love it all I love the feedback I love the interaction that's what this is all about have yourselves a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.